What is going on guys? Dr. Joe here with part three of our massive 100 pack opening of Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum Crisis. Now before I start this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So let's get into the rest of this pack opening right here. And hopefully we can get more awesome secret rare cards out of this box, or these boxes rather. Uh, I'm just gonna do what I usually do when I open these kind of things because we have a little more space on the on the playmat right now. But we should now. I don't want to say should because I don't actually know if we've gotten all of the secret rares that we're supposed to get. We, we need one more secret rare and hopefully that is the uh, Dragonic Diagram uh, that we're going to pull out of this last opening. But we'll just have to see here. We still have quite a lot of packs to go through. Okay, so Right about now, we're just getting super rares and not that interesting super rares, I don't think. But there's still hope for this opening. Okay, another duplicate super rare right now. Um, as I said in part one, and I think I also mentioned it in part two, we can expect to get a lot of the same cards uh, when we open this many packs. Let's see here, true king of all calamities. Okay, so our luck has started to turn just a little bit, but nothing is for certain. And you will get a recap uh, at the end of this video. I know I promised it for part two as well, and I seem to have forgotten it, but we will try and get these last awesome pulls okay well the packs are not with us just yet so maybe this one is we have a spiral sleeper again we haven't pulled anything too crazy for this part and uh, I was really hoping that we could get something awesome but there's still hope. It's a lot of the same super rares in a row right here. You can tell that these, uh, these last packs came from the same box, I think. Uh, but I've been kind of frightened to open. Okay, an, an ultra rare Majesty Maiden the True Dracos uh, caster. Okay, so it's not too bad, not too bad. Let's just move it just a little bit right here and we'll have her right there okay okay another super man I do hope that we can still pull something awesome in these last packs because would be pretty tragic if we don't Another true king of all calamities. Well, it's a welcome pull, but not a diagram. And we want to see diagrams so badly. Another waterfall. No wonder that card is about $100, because, man, when you see it, you just flip. I mean, it's one of the best feelings that you can have when opening a product, knowing that you made your entire box with just one card. Okay. I think the plan is kind of playable. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not sure if it's played in any decks, but uh, it has risen in value since the set came out. That is our last secret rare, if I'm not mistaken, is Supreme King Zark. Okay, 
So yeah, and I know I sound kind of disappointed uh, and that's because, uh, you know, I am since we won't be getting any more super rare, I mean, uh, secret rares, at least if it's gonna hold up to predictability, which means that we cannot expect to get any more secret rares and we cannot expect to get a diagram. Uh, if we do, I'm gonna lose my mind. But again, I'm not gonna build my hopes up too high since, well, that was secret rare. So we pulled two ultra polymerizations and two Supreme Kings arc. No wonder uh, the other secret rares are worth that much if people are just pulling those non-stop. Spiral sleeper. Well, we can still get some awesome ultra rares in this, in the last few packs here. Let's see here. We have Supreme King Gate Infinity. Oh, come on. Let's just break the streak for once. Okay, a true Draco heritage. That is an all right ultra. I'll take that. I actually think it's worth more than Supreme King Sark. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it is. Man, just knowing, getting through the, the last few packs here, uh, that the likelihood of me getting a Dragonic Diagram is so low. Uh, it butchers you. Uh, it really makes you feel feel really sad that you couldn't pull that awesome card. And I already pulled two and it's a fantastic feeling uh, when you actually get to pull that card. But I still have hope. So maybe, maybe, just maybe it'll happen. Spiral Sleeper. Yeah, we're not really getting anything too special. Yeah, I actually was about to say, since most of the diagrams that I pulled was behind that Performer Pal, you go, Golem. Okay guys, so we have two packs left here. Let's see if we can do it. Sephiroth, Seraph. All right, last pack you guys. Let's see if this is the one that gives us that awesome Dragonic Diagram. Oh. I saw the spell card and I thought, no way, but yeah, no way. It wasn't that. It was just a spiral gear. Okay, so let's do a recap of this, you guys. Uh, we want to see the ultras uh, and we want to see the secrets and the supers, at least the supers that are worth something. So we have three, I think it's three, isn't it? No, we have more in this this pile right here let's just check it out and see we have one there and another okay so two more of that one let's see here we have five king of calamities so that's one every 20 booster we have one uh, Draco Valerie general we have one Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. And then we have, let's see here, three, the true Draco Caster, the Majest Majesty Maiden. So three of those. We have one Draco Phoenix. We have two uh, Dynamite, the true Draco Fighter. And we have 
three true Draco heritage. Very nice. We have one true king return. And then we have some ultra rares lying up here. Uh, I don't really know if we want to go through them because they're not. Yeah, you can just see here spiral gear and performer pal Gatling Ghoul. So not that many uh, bad secret rare. I mean, uh, ultra rares. Uh, we were actually very lucky to get uh, those pulls. So let's go through here. See two ultra polymerization and two Supreme Kings arc. One Duelist Alliance. One Tornado Dragon. One Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King. And lastly, our best pull out of this box, an Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Okay, so again, no diagram, but well, this box opening has been pretty fun to do and we did get a lot of sweet pulls. So I'm definitely very happy about that. So that's it for this part of the video, guys. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, share, all that good stuff. You know, uh, it helps other people finding my channel and it makes it possible for me to do more videos for you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.